All right. Now inside the vault there could be guard dogs, laser trip wires, who knows, all right? So be careful. I'll keep a lookout. All right, blow the charges. Just some old dude on a chair. I thought there'd be some sort of security system. I am the security system. <laughs> no, seriously, what are you doing? Reading Immanuel Kant. Okay, I don't know what you just said or what you're trying to do, but we're gonna take all this, and if you try to stop us, then we'll shoot you. Fine, take some money. You obviously deserve it. <laughs> deserve it? I'm stealing it. Jason, let's just take this. That is your point. Obviously, you must think that whoever is smart or strong enough to steal something deserves to have that thing, no? Yeah, sure, I do. So, a strong man takes money from weak old grandmother. Strong man deserves this money, yeah? Yeah. Wait, no. What? Jason, what are you doing? There's millions of dollars of gold in here. But what if it's grandma's gold? <laughs> Listen, stop trying to confuse us. We are taking this gold. Who cares who deserves what? Fine, but I wonder if your colleague here thinks that he deserves whatever he can take, including your share of the gold. Food for thought. But you pinky promised. Oh, well, sounds the alarm. Professional thieves are always known for keeping their pinky promises. <laughs> Not. No, you and Jeremy haven't made a plan to cut me out. How can I trust a liar? Oh, Jason Byrne, your predatory moral philosophy is rendering you untrustworthy. Tell me how I can trust you. I don't know. My whole life was based off that predator floral. Predatory moral philosophy. Mean philosophy. My whole life is crumbling before my eyes. Can I even trust myself? No, Jason, you cannot. Trustworthiness requires consistency, and you have elected to pick and choose when you are trustworthy. You should feel very badly about yourself. Feel free to cry. <laughs> well, what about you? How can I trust you? You're the biggest liar I know. Oh, Whitney, he's called you fat. <laughs> What's taking so... Whoa! What are you guys doing? We just found out that we can't trust each other because we're thieves and our pinkies don't mean anything anymore, Jason. Well, you know, guys, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, why can't we have different moral systems for different groups of people? I mean, soldiers don't find it immoral to kill their enemies, but do find it immoral to kill their fellow soldiers. So it's conceivable that we can be genuinely truthful to our co-conspirators, regardless of how many lies we've told to other people. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What your colleague has just proposed, Jason, would sow the seeds for the destruction of Western civilization. Whoa, Jeremy, not cool! Uh, please. According to you, anyone can justify being untrustworthy as long as they classify others as part of an enemy group. Jason, if you're still confused at this point, you are your own enemy and nothing of worth or value exists in your cognition. <laughs> If everyone has this approach, nobody could trust anybody. Therefore, Jeremy wishes for the demise of civilization. But I'm a gentle, loving Cannot person. Cannot be trusted. Whitney, take him out. <laughs> oh, man, we're monsters! I'm freaking out! And they say philosophy's a useless major. Uh, I'm still gonna take this gold. So, uh, no, you yeah, cannot. Yeah, uh, you're forgetting about the moral theory okay. of, uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh, two out of three is not bad. 